my name's Tyler Bird. I work for Stark and Wayne, and I do I deploy all the things with Bosch and Cloud Foundry. There we go. Um, so once again, my name's Tyler Bird. I work at Stark and Wayne. Uh, we're superheroes who deploy uh, Bosch and Cloud Foundry, um, and we use best practices to deploy Bosch and Cloud Foundry. Everyone is familiar with the term best practices, right? I've got some air in my pants. No, they're in the other pants. Um, so uh, essentially, best practices are things that we all know and love here in our uh, collective society. But first, I have a confession to make. You know those 12-step programs that we're also familiar with, uh, like Alcoholics Anonymous, right? I'm part of another uh, group called uh, Knowledge Hoarders Anonymous. Um, so I'd like to reintroduce myself. My name is Tyler, and I'm a knowledge hoarder. Um, hi, thank you. Um, what, I, what I mean by knowledge hoarder is I love to just go out there and learn about tons of new things. Um, and over the last eight years, I've accumulated thousands of notes, almost 2,000 notes over the course of like eight or nine years in my note-taking system that I called DeLorean after my favorite movie, Back to the Future. Um, and so this note-taking system is something that I do to just everything that I'm doing. ADD, I just go and grab everything, and I'm just constantly taking notes on stuff. It served me well over the last, uh, you know, eight or nine years to be able to be a best practice for me. Um, and while I think there are DevOps best practices that we're all familiar with, right, uh, like being able to use infrastructure as code, continuous delivery, blue-green deployment, um, I think there's another tier that I'd like to introduce you to today uh, called personal, dev, uh, personal best practices. So uh, what is a practice? A practice is something we do to increase our skills get better at something, and we pay attention to what works uh, while we do this practice, okay? And what is it that makes it best? Well, the things that make it best are the things we notice when we practice this, we take this practice, repeat it over time, we notice the results we get, and we see that uh, trend over time. We fine tune it over along the way. Um, personal best practices are something I'm kind of playing around with in my mind here that's driven both by the skills you need to have at work and your, your own personal values. Um, so to introduce to you guys today, I've got a list here of my personal best practices that I use. Um, it's not a complete innumerable list of, of all of them, but they're, the, they're some that I'm going to share with you guys today. Okay, um, Curiosity is the first on the list. And with curiosity, um, what it is is having the curiosity to explore not only the newest technologies, um, but how they're connected to each other and uh, where they came from, their history. Uh, and then also the importance of asking questions of, of your fellow workers, uh, not, not being uh, afraid to ask questions, um, being confident to ask, establish what you know, and then uh, define what you need. Uh, it's also really important uh, to be committed to learning in our, in our culture. Uh, there's so many important uh, new things to be learning all the time. Um, so uh, building knowledge is commonplace for us, of course. Give yourself permission to play with all the different things. Build something and then teach the things that you learn, right? Uh, it, when you teach something or you go to learn something to teach, it causes you to, to learn it differently. And of course, uh, for those of us who have to support our systems, like five nines got you down, uh, it's important to have a repair system like strong relationships or relaxing activities that will help you to um, repair the stress of being in the DevOps world. And lastly, uh, having a good attitude. Um, don't be a jerk, you know. Just be excellent to each other. Um, exactly. 
uh, and learn how to, this book, The Four Agreements has in it, not, try not to take anything personally, especially in code reviews. Um, <laughs> so now it's your turn. Go out, define your own best practices. And I just want to say thanks to Jason and all the organizers for inviting me out today. And um, I hope you guys have an excellent remainder of the DevOps conference. Thank you.